Hello all you bladers, we're going to be showcasing this attack combination Guilty Longinus Fortress Quick Dash 4 in the video today and it's basically just an optimized KO attacker, you launch it at an angle, it'll KO bays in the pockets for as long as it can attack until it's not spinning anymore. I did rank this actually number 2 in my top 5 Beyblade Burst combinations of 2023 video. So probably go watch that if you haven't watched it. It was also a similar combo ranked number one in Blader K's top five article, which the Beyblade Geeks also did a video on. You probably saw that, but yeah, this is just going to showcase its attack power against some combinations and some stock combos, just showing the true power of what an attack type is capable of. So with a combination like this, basically a lot of the weight is in the center, which is not normally what you'd have for a KO attack type. So with this type of angle, I like to do is you have your launcher flat and you kind of twist it. So catapult it. You twist your string backwards and the launcher forwards. So just kind of like, like that kind of. And then you kind of got, get to start speeding up near the end there. So we're gonna try burst spring in first. Almost knocked out there. Ooh, nice. Got bursted on the first hit and burst Spriggan actually almost burst there too. That was two clicks in fair. Oh, catch it there, catch it there. Spriggan has some nice defense there, and it got a click off it again, and it actually burst the combo. There's no way Glide Ragnarok comes out of this one alive. It even cut off the single chassis, like look at that. The single chassis even came off, it destroyed it. Raphael. Almost. Okay, Raphael's taking some hits there. It being karma fused in high mode definitely does help with its defense there. It almost got knocked out here. And it'll be able to hold on most likely with those wings. Crazy gimmick it has. Zest Achilles in shield stamina mode. Left spin, I believe. Very, very stable with the launch there. Man, I moved the lot I moved the stadium a bit there because Zest was kind of like moving, but it still KO'd it. Danish fashion. This thing's like destroying the combos. And it got like half, it almost burst there. Two clicks. Astral Spriggan, clockwise balance mode. Technically defense mode because the Unite Driver. Let's see if this can hold up. Yeah, I think it should be able to hold on. Just carefully do that. Yeah, Spriggan's weird. Astral Spriggan in that. It's like, it's really tall, so it's very weird that it can hold on to some things. And it obviously gets the outspin there. Guilty Longinus took a click. It's very, very heavy, so I wouldn't be surprised if it also counters Guilty. But you never know. The reason I pick up Guilty a second time and launch it is because a lot of the times with opposite spin, it really doesn't matter how you launch the KO attack type because it's as if you light launch the right spin bay and launch Guilty again. So if I launch this like slower and I launch Guilty after, it's the same difference. So with like, if you have a right spin stamina type like Greatest Raphael and you self KO with Guilty, you can just pick Guilty up again and launch it without picking Raphael up, and it really wouldn't make much of a difference because you'd be light launching a clockwise bay in opposite spin against an Akeo attacker. Anyway, but that's just Beyblade for you. 
Could be interesting. Cyclone Ragnarok. Get held up there. Ooh. Really holding up. Took a really big hit to that wall here, but it got saved. Now it's just putting in the work for that never driver. Yeah, like my, my launches today aren't really the best with KO attackers. Sometimes it just comes with a like someday you're good at it, someday you're not good at launching it. Let's try it again. Catapult. See now, as I said before, you can pick it up again and do it again. It doesn't matter. You'd like that again. Cyclone's really defending there. To be fair, I didn't launch guilty as hard as I could have. But Cyclone, yeah, Never is a really, like, Never is really solid for defense. Because it's got a really low height. Like, DV bays are already in low mode. But Never is just very solid in that it, like, it has a low stability. And this ring just catches the ridge. So Never is, like, hard to KO. Very nice KO defense driver. We're gonna try that one last time. Watch that hard. Kinda messed up there. Cyclone is just in the center. Almost got KO'd there. My launches with Guilty are just not the best today. Yeah, Cyclone's taking this one. You know, I want to try it one last time. I just want to KO Cyclone. Just get this bay. Tough today. See, it, 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 it's very nice and intense. I could have gotten it so many times there. Never just it slides so nicely with the stadium. Yeah, Cyclone gets it again. This is like. Yeah, Cyclone. I wonder if those wings kind of help with it too, because when Guilty hits these wings, they kind of like. Flicker, it kind of slows the momentum of Guilty, but it's mainly just this Never Driver. This thing's really good for defense. Like, really, really good. That's why I wear the glove here, sometimes. But yeah, it KO'd win so easily, and yet it can't KO Cyclone. It's just, it's weird like that. This is Wind Perseus Taper Baron Gas 4, by the way. Goes around the ridge. Not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing the best with KO launches today. See, you can see that? See that? It's like it's it's taking out wind almost. It could have KO'd it there and there. I think there. All oh, definitely there. Bearings putting in that sliding weird thing it does, and yeah, wind will win by outspin, of course. Let's try that a third time. We're gonna really step up the launch. Nice wall bounce there, but it still messed up the pattern. Couldn't knock wind out. Huh. Yeah, supposedly this combo is like very, very good. Well, not, not supposedly, it is very, very good. It's a very good KO attacker. It's just, you need to use it properly, but it's so weird because sometimes you have like the quote unquote best KO attacker in competitive, like even like with judgment or rage, you put the, like it on quick dash and it loses to some random stock combo because it's just with quick dash or extreme dash, you can lose to anything. You can win against anything, but you can lose to anything if you just don't KO it. Anything. You can, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure Rage on Extreme Dash could lose to Jet Wyvern if it doesn't KO it. It's just you, you gotta KO the combo. If it messes up your flower pattern, 
you're done. So it's really just all about the launching and we're gonna do Ultimate Valkyrie with the non-awakened evolution driver here. See, it's beating up. Almost KO'd it there. Ooh, it could have KO'd it there too. Ooh, and there. Four times it could, well, three times it could have KO'd it. And it beat it too. You'll notice that Fortress, you'd think that using something like Over is better, or maybe Giga, but you need speed on an attack type. With Fortress, it has less weight in the center and more weight on the outside, which compensates for Longinus. And Longinus is there just for the burst resistance and weight, also to keep it from self-KOing, but Fortress having more weight towards the outside helps with the speed. The, uh, I think it's called OPM. So what the abbreviation is. This Prominence Belial 2 Nexus S Mobius. And this is a uh, fixed and shield mode, I believe. This thing Yeah. This this prominence combo is like very good, very good uh, defense and very good equalizer. So if anything would beat guilty like convincingly, it'd be this prominence combo, especially because the armor got knocked off in the beginning there. It kind of just messed it up, messed up the flower pattern. First Spriggan one more time, and I think we're gonna end it off there. Yeah, I think that's that's where we're gonna pretty much end it off. So guilty longinus, fortress quick dash four. Today was not my best best launching day for KO attack types, but you definitely got to see a lot of cool KOs, even a couple bursts, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was just Glad Ragnarok getting destroyed, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely practice with your KO attack types. It's all about finding the right driver. Maybe it's quick dash, maybe it's jolt dash, maybe it's extreme dash, maybe it's getting a new quick driver because mine is actually pretty worn if you can see the dust there trying to get it yeah you can see it's pretty black so the more you use a driver the more it gets worn down and then you really just doesn't get as fresh i do have an extra quick dash that's fresh but i'm saving that just for tournament purposes and yeah still performs pretty well right like i have this blue quick dash which is like very very worn but it's still Performs pretty nicely if you can just get the dust off with like a napkin or wipe it off, but yeah. KO attack types are very, very powerful, but they can also lose to the most random of things if you don't get the KO. It's all about just landing those hits and making sure you get the attacks in early on. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Subscribe if you enjoyed, have fun, and don't forget to keep on blading.